Hello everyone, welcome back to Spoken English Video Lessons by Arrow Publications. I'm your Spoken English Trainer Padmini and in today's video lesson, I shall be telling you all about future continuous tense. Well, what is this future continuous tense all about? It is a tense that is used to talk about a longer action in the future. That means a longer action that will be happening at a particular time in the future or for a longer time in the future, maybe for a couple of days, for a couple of hours and also at a particular time. So this particular tense is a very useful tense, very interesting too and it also makes your language sound very natural. Now let's get started with the structure of this tense. How is this tense actually formed? This tense is formed by using subject plus will be plus the verb plus ing. We are using the ing form of the action word. The negative form is used by using subject plus will not be plus verb plus ing form and the interrogative form or the question form is formed by using will plus subject plus be plus verb plus ing form. So you have the structure of this tense. Now to give you an example how it fits into this structure, how a sentence fits, in, uh, fits into this structure. Let's see. Let's look at one example. I will be attending a class tomorrow. This is the affirmative form. To make the negative form, I will not be attending a class tomorrow. And to ask a question, will you be attending a class tomorrow? So this is the question form. So we will shall use now, we shall now use this structure to look at more examples. Tomorrow at this time, I will be attending a class. So this is the example I started with. So tomorrow at this time, I will be attending a class means I will be in the middle of a class. I will be actually sitting in the classroom and I will be attending a class. At 9 o'clock this evening, I will be having dinner, which means at 9 o'clock, I will be in the, middle, in the middle of eating my dinner or having my dinner. Tomorrow, my parents will be celebrating their wedding anniversary, which means tomorrow, probably for the whole day, my parents will be celebrating and we will also be joining them for, in their celebrations. The next example. We will be flying to the US at this time next week. That means next week we would be on a plane. We would be flying. We will be flying. We'll be actually sitting on the flight. We will be spending our vacation at our grandparents' house. That means next week we have holidays and we are going to spend all our time with our grandparents. Tomorrow at this time, I will be writing an exam. That means I will be in an examination hall and I will be writing an exam. At 11 a.m. I will be working. That means at 11 a.m. I will be at office and I will be working. At 6 p.m. I will be returning from work. That means I will be on my way home. Tomorrow I will be watching a movie with my friends. I will be preparing for my exams next week. Look at these two sentences. Tomorrow I will be watching a movie with my friends means I would be in a theater or I will be in a theater and I will be in the process of watching a movie. I will be preparing my ex for my exams next week which means whole of next week I will be preparing because my exams are approaching. And now we move on to the negative forms and the interrogative forms. So far you have seen how we can make affirmative forms with will be plus verb plus ing. You know the structure of the negative forms too. Now let's look at them and let's also look at some examples of interrogative sentences. 
I will be attending the class. I will not be attending the class. Will you be attending the class? We use these three types of sentences almost every day in our conversations. We don't just use, the one, use one form. We need to use all the three forms as and when necessary. Now look at the second example. I will be meeting her this evening. I will not be meeting her this evening. Will you be meeting her this evening? They will be studying at 4 p.m. They will not be studying at 4 p.m. Will they be studying at 4 p.m.? The children will be sleeping at 9 p.m. The children will not be sleeping at 9 p.m. Will the children be sleeping at 9 p.m.? Look at these sentences. So we have discussed the affirmative forms, the negative forms and the interrogative forms of the future continuous tense. And the sentences, we have also discussed the sentences that have the structure. So I'm sure you have learned this perfectly well and you will be able to use this future continuous tense with ease and you will soon become very fluent at using this tense and you will also speak naturally. So please pick up a notebook, write some examples of your own, write what you will be doing tomorrow at a particular time or tomorrow or day after tomorrow or maybe next week or during the holidays. What are the things you will be doing at a particular time or for a few days, for a few weeks? And write these sentences in affirmative, negative and interrogative forms. And I'm sure you will enjoy doing that exercise and you will also get perfect at this tense. Thank you very much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe to our videos and we will come back with more interesting videos. Until then, goodbye.